Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I woke up in really bad pain, so I'm on the couch with the heating pad on. Kyle gave me my pain meds, and we're just chilling with a pillow, sharing it <laughs> on the couch, because that's the only way I could get comfortable. <laughs> All right, good early afternoon or good morning. Um, as you probably saw, Jenny was having excruciating pain this morning. Um, and she's of course at home alone with, hold on, there's a truck. She's of course at home uh, with Winnie alone. So um, she texted me, I'm, you know, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do this today. So I just um, took my stuff from work and came home so that I could take care of her and Winnie. Um, she's doing a lot better now since I've been home. Um, but, you know, that's what our life has been lately. You never know what you're going to get. I just want to make sure she's okay and taken care of. Make sure that my little one is taken care of. So we're now taking Flower for a walk, um, which is really nice. Enjoying the sunshine, enjoying little flower and little Winnie. Winnie's got her backpack, huh, girl? We'll go get Ellis in a little bit, but right now we're just enjoying the sunshine. Show everybody how fast you are. Let's see. Wow. Oh boy. <laughs> Lightning speed. Just had to stop on our walk. And these are the flowers that I planted. And right after we planted them, it happened to be like nine straight days of raining. And look how beautiful they look. Perfect for spring. I like the look of it. Don't they look nice, Winnie? Yeah. yeah, we did a good job. Winnie helped me plant those. Beautiful. It is now 1230 and I am still on the couch. <sighs> Today has been rough. This whole pain world is so confusing to me. I don't understand it. <laughs> I've had chronic pain since I was diagnosed, or since before I was diagnosed, and I just have lived with that pain. I didn't start the pain meds for that pain. I started it for worse pains that I've been getting since I had the fluid and the fluid drained. It's like those, the fluid and the draining did permanent damage or something to where I have like really, really bad pain now, like worse than my chronic pain, normal chronic pain. Um, that's why I started the pain meds. And then when Kyle went back to work, I started getting really bad pains in the spots where the fluid pains were. It was like nerve pain though, so I thought maybe damage was done when it was drained. I don't know. <laughs> and... You guys know I was rationing my pain meds over the weekend because I think I have the prescription wrong or something. I like ran out of pain meds, or I'm running out of pain meds where I don't, I'm just so new to this world. I'm, I'm not an expert, I'm, I need help. And so we told my team and they're helping us. Uh, my pain management doctor is working with my oncology team and they're figuring it out for us. They have a prescription being sent to my pharmacy now so I will have pain meds today. I still have my as needed because I rationed them. But this is where I'm confused. I think something's going on in my body regarding the cancer. Either it's going away <laughs> and dying, or I feel like I'm getting more fluid or something because Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I didn't need my ass needed dilated at all except for at bedtime. And typically I have pain where the fluid drain, like there's a spot when the fluid was drained that has always hurt me since then. And that spot stopped hurting. And that spot hurts when fluid is disappearing in me. 
like when we see scans and there's less fluid, I'm like, oh, that's why that fluid spot was hurting so much. The fluid was draining itself or disappearing. And so that spot hasn't been hurting me. So it makes me wonder if there's now fluid because they said when the fluid was draining, it was causing things to rub together that hadn't been rubbing together to where it would cause sharp pains for me. But when the fluid was there, they weren't rubbing together. So it almost makes me think maybe there's fluid back in there to where stuff isn't rubbing together and hurting. I don't know. But then this morning, last night I slept all night with no pain. I have my always chronic cancer pain, but no pain meaning no new severe stuff. And I didn't take any of the as needed medication before bed. And then I woke up at 6 a.m. saying, okay, Kyle, I need my as needed medication. It's really bad. And it was this really sharp pain, right? My heating pad on, right on my back, like right below my ribs. Like I felt like someone was stabbing me. I'm not trying to sound dramatic. I don't know a better way to explain it. That's the only way I know how to explain what it felt like. And so he got me that. I got the heating pad on, came and sat on the couch because the bed just wasn't comfy anymore. And I, did I say I took my as needed pain medis medication? Yeah, I did. And that helped take off the slightest edge, but it never got rid of the pain. So I was on the couch with Winnie all day. Kyle went to work, Ellis went to school, and I couldn't, I kept saying like, let's wait for the pain to wear off. And I'm playing with her on the couch. We have like, toys we're playing stuff but I'm sitting on the couch the whole day and I tried walking with her to get her ready and any walking was like the stabbing and she was seeing me get this pain to where I would singe up cinch up and shriek out of my control react like someone's stabbing me and start crying and I was trying to act cool and hold it in but she would see it's like uncontrollable how bad it was and so I got the strength up to walk to go get another as needed pain medication and I took that and it seems like it's finally helping I had to call Kyle home from work I told him I couldn't be a parent. I couldn't do anything. I just need to sit and not move. It only feels fine when I sit and not move. Like right now, sitting here, I'm not feeling anything. But as soon as I like try to walk or go do something, it's like the stab. It'll be like no pain, no pain, no pain, stab. No pain, no pain, no pain, stab. I don't know what's going on inside of me, but something is happening in there, I'm telling you. Kyle said he thinks the cancer's dying. <laughs> we'll, we'll see, I have scans coming up. Um, I'm so grateful that my NP put in for me to have a brain MRI with sedation because I can't imagine going through laying flat for the 20 to 30 minutes with this new pain. I'm so grateful that he suggested that because I think that'll really help me. Oh, that's tomorrow. I'm really nervous for that. If you guys wouldn't mind, please praying for me. That would be so great. I'd be so grateful. I'm just hoping that I get through it safely and with no pain if possible. I think if I'm under sedation, I won't have pain and that, um, we have good results or clear results you know I had new lesions in my brain we will see if they're the same smaller or bigger I guess we want I want them gone <laughs> but or <clears throat> smaller or the same maybe I don't know I'm learning stable is good in this cancer world but I just want them gone I have hair. I have hair all over me. I don't know if you guys can tell. 
I just keep shedding, I keep losing hair. So if blue is working and I stay on it, I think I'm gonna lose a lot of hair because I already am starting to. We'll see. I'm gonna try to rest and take a nap. Now that Kyle has Winnie, I can focus on getting better. I'm so grateful for him. I feel bad having him leave work, but I didn't know what to do. I couldn't walk. I couldn't get Winnie dressed. I couldn't get myself dressed. When he got home, I got in the shower, but he had to help me get undressed, had to help me get in the shower, had to help me dry my body, get my clothes on. It was any like twist or bend would just cause that stabbing pain. And so I'm so grateful for my honey. I love you, Kyle. <laughs> I don't know if I said this, but the new pain that I have today, I haven't felt at all ever on this cancer journey. It's a totally new pain. So that's where I had that pain stop for now four days that I've been having lately. And now this new pain, I don't, I don't know what it, what's, what it's from. So then you just started Eva. going into that pipe. Eva. You brushed it all up oh, and back Eva. into your hand. Mm -hmm. And then, I so when you're doing Eva. the pony like this, you want as Eva. much I drop wet and pomade as possible. I drop so it holds it all up. Then you twist Eva. this. Keep twisting. You want a bow, Winnie? You want a bow on your hair? Yeah. You look gorgeous, baby. Look at the camera, blow a kiss. <laughs> you look absolutely gorgeous. My team arranged for me to have my prescription filled, so I have that, and I am able to take another pain as needed pain medication if I need it right now, and I don't feel that I need it, so I'm not taking it. My pain is so much better, but being in pain for so many hours today has me exhausted. I wanted to go to dance and swim with the kids, but I just can barely keep my eyes open. So I'm gonna keep resting while they go. And then we'll have dinner when they get home. Ellis and Winnie are back from dance and swim and they went to the grocery store with dad. Do you wanna show me what you got? Uh, Ellis, do you wanna show me something you got? What's, what's that? Is that your Lego you built? Lego vehicle? What is that? What are those noises? She's in. Mm, mm. I can't show you all the bags. Just show me something. Go get something yummy. I want to see something yummy. What do you think I, is yummy? I can't read them from the counter. Cool. Okay, let's see what Ellis brings. Let's see if he can find something yummy. I don't know why it never occurred to me. Okay, I can reach it. I can, mommy. I, I can reach the whole. Kyle, get the water pot. You've never done that. It makes so much sense now that I look like it's gonna cut the. Mommy, I got He's never thought to put hot water in the pot for cooking pasta. I, I taught him that apparently a week ago. Oh, Ellis brought something delicious that he bought. Corn dogs. These are really good veggie corn dogs. Now let's see what Winnie chose. That's delicious. Let's see. Let's do four hands. All right, let's see what Winnie brought. That's delicious. <laughs> Did I just kiss it? It's my baby. Whoa, look what Winnie got. Oh my goodness. That is delicious. Look at flowers. She says, I want a bite. <laughs> Look at that flower. I want to lift it. Oh my gosh, that's so heavy. Mommy, did you lift this? What's that?
Like, it's okay if we pay us. Yeah, uh, it's just that it's bedtime. It's fine. No rest. No rest. I started getting very bad anxiety tonight regarding the brain MRI tomorrow and the results that come from it. It's all weighing on me and eating me up to where I feel like I could cry at any moment. So I put on Ratatouille with the kids. We watched it with dinner that Kyle made. Spaghetti and meatballs, delicious. And we, we didn't finish it. We went and played in Alice's room, did some Lego fun and then books and Winnie's hair. We're gonna be gone really early in the morning for my brain MRI, so we wanted to set the kids up and get them ready. And my dad doesn't know how to do little girl hair, so I tried to do her hair to where it's easy for him in the morning. <laughs> All right, I'm so terrified going into this. I'm telling you guys I could ball right now, but I'm refraining from doing it because I'm afraid it'll be a never-ending cry if I let it come out. So, please pray for me to be okay, to have peace of mind, to get through this, and for good results. Thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate you all, and I will get back to you after my scan. I'll let you know how it goes my first time under sedation. Hopefully that will go well. All right, I love you guys, bye.